What's up guys, welcome to today's video and this week's scheme of the week we are utilizing the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. Uh, I was watching an, uh, a video last week about uh, some, some information from Madden 15 and they basically, it seems like the Saints playbook is going to be one of the better playbooks in the game and so I'm going to be using the Saints playbook for the rest of the year to kind of prep, uh, preparate uh, or excuse me, prepare myself for uh, Madden 15. Uh, obviously, you know, maybe it won't be the best playbook by the end of the year, but it's always good to lab up something so that you can have something uh, at launch. But uh, this normal halfback week uh, formation is really effective. It's very simple, and I really like that in a base formation because you can do a little bit of everything from this package. Now, the base play that we're going to be using is the PA Saints Cross, um, but you could come out in any play uh, depending on how you have your audible set up. Other plays I like from this formation are the corner strike, the curl flat, the halfback slip screen, the FL screen, and also this double cross play for the deep post threat that you get. All right, guys, this PA uh, Saints post, real quick, we're going to show you what we like to do. What we like to do out of this package here is we like to take the running back and place him on a little option route. And then we want to take um, this guy, uh, Tory Smith here, if you'll notice, uh, his route is actually a fade route. And you see, I mean, it just goes straight up the seams and it's a fade route, okay? So it's pretty simple. All right. So that's interesting because we have a stock fade. So like maybe when we're down in the red zone, this is uh, something that you could maybe use as a little goal line uh, because fades, if you guys don't know, when you throw a fade into the back of the end zone, it sometimes uh, gets a really nice animation. That uh, that time we didn't get it, but there's other, you know, I mean, you know, maybe from like the 25-yard line it might be uh, something pretty useful. Uh, but I just wanted to touch on that a little bit. I didn't want to spend this much time but if you'll see here this fade route pass leads to the right and I mean sometimes you get him to get big uh, but anyway another thing that's interesting to note about the fade route uh, as opposed to just a streak route is you can use or catch fade routes uh, pretty nice with a little swerve animation so that's why I like that route myself but let's back the ball up here and um, let's show you the way I like to set up this play so first and foremost I like to take Ray Rice and place him on an option route. Then I want to bring motion, uh, Brandon Stokely over across the formation on a motion on this, this little route. Now what's interesting from that point is I take Torrey Smith and depending on what they're in, so like if it's off coverage, I'll put Torrey Smith on a slant. If it's press coverage, it could potentially be two men under, so I'll put him on a drag route. And you'll see we have a nice little, uh, little um, pick route against man-to-man -man defense. And here you'll see... Uh, this is two man under. When we motion Stokely across, you'll see how it does a nice job of just getting that beautiful separation for us. All right, so uh, that's how I like to, that portion of the formation there is to bring Stokely across like that. And then, like I said, you know, I like to put Ray Rice on an option route. You could put him on a streak if you wanted to, but I think the option route works the best. Here is a, our next read against two men under is actually going to be this drag route. We like to pass lead the drag upfield, and you see it gets a nice little animation against man coverage. Note you must pass that drag route. Um, you must pass lead it up, and you must throw it before he crosses the center, before the receiver runs, uh, passes the center on the line of scrimmage. The next read against man-to-man -man coverage from that point is this little option route. You see it turns into an out route. Very nice little route there from Ray Rice to beat man-to-man -man coverage. All right, the third read, uh, or excuse me, the fourth read against man-to-man -man defense, as you'll notice here, we're sitting in the pocket, sitting in the pocket, and you see this curl route does a nice job also at beating man. You could put him on a comeback. I actually think a comeback would probably work better, especially against press man-to-man -man coverage because we have so many quick reads anyway. This would really help with the timing, having a nice late, late, late route to throw. Pass lead to the outside does a nice job at beating man. So you could turn that into a stock comeback if you wanted to. Uh, it's easy. You just hot route it uh, on a comeback route. The next thing that I wanted to show you here, I accidentally snapped it against the cover four. Sorry about that. But uh, the next thing I want to show you here is this tight end route against man defense. Um, here, I'll just snap because you don't need that guy anyway. But you'll see pass lead to the left. 
and you can click on and make a user catch okay so let's show you that one more time here I'm not gonna motion over uh, Ray Rice or I mean Brandon Soakley because you don't really need to see that and of course I called against cover four but you can cut that uh, you can cut that little post route off very effectively um, against man to man now, you can cut it off while I was against zone but uh, you know pass the left click on and you just want to come underneath and make a user catch so that's how we like to beat man from this play and then we'll show you a cover three as well so from this play for a cover three we're again this would be a situation where we would say okay well they're off coverage so now I want to really work a slant route as opposed to a drag route and then you'll see um, against off coverage as well I like to per, uh, run the comeback route still because the comeback route just is a really nice route for this play uh, in my opinion and so you'll see that the snap of the ball Brandon Stokely we can pass lead it up against cover three and you'll see it'll get it a nice little void for us the only thing that I think they can do to stop this route if I remember correctly is to take this guy that's in the cover three when we motion over and they have to base align it so what they'll do is they'll base align their cover three and then you'll see now they'll take Cooper here and put him into a curl flat zone this might get it and of course I snapped the ball on accident sorry about that guys but you, you'll see I mean even if that gets it you have so many other reads across the board but this is just a really nice route and that's why I like to motion it over uh, here you'll see against the cover four though you can pass lead it down and then you know maybe get a little back juke going on and, and really kind of force the hand so that route is just a tough route to defend but um, the next read against the cover three is going to be this little slant route. It's natural progression off of that little slant out. We can now naturally progress to the next option. You'll see that Smith does a good job at getting some separation as well against the cover three. Okay, our next read uh, it's the same progression as our man read, but the next progression over would be now Ray Rice. So we look to the left. We see okay, they got that bottled up. Ray Rice is actually going to sit down. He's really not that good of a read against the cover three. But you'll note, if you notice, he sits. Now, that's why I like putting him on an option route, because against man, he'll break out, and against zone, he will sit. What this is going to allow us to do is hit Dennis Pitta over the top against something like a cover three zone. Here he sits. Dennis Pitta comes right in behind him. Does a nice job at beating that cover three zone. Okay. Another thing that you might consider, uh, instead of putting Story Tory Smith on an out route, you might put him on an in route just to get a little bit better spacing for uh, a, a cover three because uh, we can kind of notice here he is kind of running in. Now we have a lot more room to fit that route into Pitta. You have to click on it and use it, though, cut it off, but uh, just a really nice route. And then lastly, guys, against the cover three, uh, we should be able to hit this comeback route. Um, sometimes we are able to, sometimes we're not. But uh, it gets in a really nice void. Sometimes a flat will drop. But you see it doesn't drop, just drops just quite shallow. And we were able to fit that in. So that's how we like to use the base play. We like to use that motion over. This is also a good thing because it helps us tell if they're man aligned or base aligned. Uh, based off if they follow Stokely over. So a lot of good stuff from this base play that we get access to. And uh, you should see tomorrow in our run, uh, our excuse me, over the next couple of videos, why that motion is the uh, foundation for everything that we're going to be doing offensively because it gives us a quick tell and then we can make an adjustment off of what the defense shows us. So that is our base play, the PA Saints cross from the normal halfback weak formation, one of the more underrated uh, formations in the Saints playbook and I think it has a lot of value so check that out guys and also be sure to come back tomorrow and see how we develop our three-headed rushing attack